Wow, double support, double warrior and vikings. Looks like I need to go for damage, Lily. Wait, is this going to be a cancelled game? Oh, it's like no double warrior, double vikings. and I mean, double warrior, triple vikings, double support. It's, it's too much. And suddenly it's Gazlo, Nova, Johanna and Zagara. I guess that's better. It's like the matchmaker was momentarily broken. There was an eddy in the matrix. Now everything is good. I thank you. I swear this smegma thing donations WASNT me Dan's game Faker Swiftridge. That's good to uh, hear it WASNT you. So, Nova, is that is that the real Nova? Uh wow, Tassadar. Tassadar pretty good solo support if the opponent lacks poke. Nova's burst, so it works out. Gazel has a bit of poke, so does Sagara. So I hope we can make use of that. Mm, thinking about build here. At level one, I can go Protoss. Timeless Serpent, Conjure's Pursuit, and Blinding Wind Damage. Now, I have three damage dealers on my team in the form of Nova, Gazlo, and Zagara, so I don't think I'll take Gale Force. Timeless Creature would have me running out of mana too soon. In fact, everything would, except Conjure's. I'll get Conjure's. Now, at level 4, would it have value to blind multiple people? They don't. They do have a very significant auto attacker in Zero Tool. Muradin, he gets battle momentum, so he's significant as well. And Lunara and Azebo rely a lot on their poison damage, but their auto attack is still pretty serious. So going for a mass vortex would be pretty strong, I think. However, it does mean that I would need to have quite a forward positioning to cast it, or I can go for something like, say, Heal Ward. To try and deal with uh, to try and deal with the fact that uh, they have a lot of sprit damage in the form of double poison and tested our side storm. Oh my god! Looks like Johanna is far too aggressive. That's going to be a little bit heavy. But against Zeratul and Muradin, Lingering Blind would be both safer to cast, as well as very effective against their front line. So I think probably I'll be going Lingering Blind. Gonna go for a quick heal on Gaslow, otherwise he will get bullied by uh, the Zeratul roams. I just saw that. I've got just the trick. This is gonna be great. I'm loving them here. Did he really just dodge? You're so weird. I thank you. Hey, Grubby. I just wanted you to know how important you are for the community. Oh. Thank you for inspiring me to be a best person in whatever I decide to do. Cheers from Brazil, man. Keep up the good work in a even better spirit. Thank you very much, man. My pleasure. I think I'm gonna need more mana for that. I'm staying here for longer than I thought I would. I get the uh, lingering blind. They really grouped up here. But we're pushing bottom, so it's alright. Lingering Blind is very strong on Zara. That's a long time out. Now against two people, it's pretty pointless to capture the shrine even once. You'll do a little bit of time buying, and I do see Zeratul heading bottom. So I guess that that does matter. Now I'll try to get it. 
Bowser really dies very painfully, doesn't she? Not afraid of you. Get that globe and then I'll rotate bottom. Not without risk. I could have been caught by Zara Murray in the middle. I didn't see them on the map. And yet, I want to be quick and efficient with my travel down. Now, if I could get the regeneration globe here, that would be great. And I'll choose a new place. In this case, I'm going to go bottom. Wow, nice! Where are they? Where is Aramura? Very surprised by that one. Now, do I get damage? I am the solo support, so probably not. Do I need cleanse? I don't think so. I can go for the good stuff or pitch perfect. How much is the good stuff? An additional 79. It's very little. It's very little. I get pitch perfect very friendly on my mana consumption which once i get kung fu hustle could be fantastic i've never really taken conjurers at the same time as um as pitch perfect but i've really been doubting my choice of uh what's it called i've really been doubting my choice of uh, the good stuff because it's so little heal and if you heal the consecutive target, there's even some efficiency loss. So 4v4. Nova as a backline assassin. But she lives because Lily OP. Saw you. At least she dodged the spike. That's nice. But I would prefer for him not to continue to be there. A little bit too invisible style. By that I mean he thinks he's invisible. Oh. Some body blocks, but difficult to prevent that from happening. Meantime, in top lane, Gatalo went for the extra TNT damage, Clockwork Steam Fist, and Hyper Focus Coils. A little bit of everything. Reminds me of my Jaina build recently. But I'm cloaked, baby rage! Yeah. Not bad. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go for the jug of 1000 cups. No more, no less. Quickly get the globe before grabbing top shrine. Okay, one more globe. They're important. Pretty cool how long those turrets still lasted. I should not walk to the left side, but I'm being greedy with my travel time. If I put a serpent on Nova, doesn't that decloak her? Yes, I think I may have actually helped to reveal her, but her her position condemns her either way. Ideally, you use other abilities before alt, but this was the fastest, burstiest way to save Gaslo, so I think it was a good choice. And we got another Dragonite, nice. I was not in range for a heal yet. Normally you should first do a blind before doing a jokes. I really have a monstrous amount of mana here. That's nice. We did it. I'd love for us to be soaking top lane. But it's much safer for me to remain here. Ah, he went Shadow Assault against Lily. That's 
and Johanna. That's pretty retarded. <laughs> I mean, slightly ill-advised. Sorry, I forgot about PC a little bit. We have double blinds, and he's investing in an auto attack ult, which offers a minimal amount of attack speed increase. Get the globe here. Mm, I'll give him a serpent. A little bit of a serpent. I need 13 more globes. So if I get one from the lane. And then I get the one from the camp. And then the top lane. And I'll get Shrink Ray. for Zeratul, just in case all else fails with the blinds. Bro. Okay, well. You have creep, you've got turrets and you had us, but it's okay. Sometimes you aren't looking. Greetings, friend. Hello Grubby, still waiting WC3 commentaries next season. Hope it won't take longer than Firefly Game of Thrones. Sentiment noted, Shakara, I've just been too busy. There's no space in my life for it right now. Rip Firefly. Nazebo not killing him. Instead, zombie won for it. It was so close for him to survive too. This Nova though, I really respect the fact that she doesn't play like some kind of uh, gank hungry person because she's been laning it up. With the best of us. Your enemy has destroyed a fort. This is bomb. Look at Nova Siege damage. Twenty six K. Good job, Nova. But you're gonna get killed. That's why I like the big bucks. I get kicked. I'll get the two for one. If she didn't triple tap in melee range, I think she was afraid that the uh, wall would have blocked the shots. Minis are uh, Thank you, my friend. She's always so far by herself. No. No. Man, she took the upgrade. No, attack speed. God, I went there to try and save a Nova, and then I way overstayed. That JoJo hammer seems useless. Why do people keep taking it? Oh yeah, it's it's absolutely awful. Blessed hammer, and he. But how much damage does it do? Eighty. So bad. 
Always pop your ult before you die. This is different. I had a, I had a chance of surviving. Two for one killed you there. Yep. True. This is true. Get him, Nova. Basically, I need to stay next to Nova or wherever Zara is because she's always flanking and I can never save her. And one single blind would just completely make Zara to get wrecked. Why am I flanking again? I need to get on the point. Thank you, my friend. Phew. What seven I got? I went for pitch perfect. I think he's in trouble. Oh, Lunara's taking bottom, so we've got to stay mid. That feels much better. Jeez. We're 3v5, aren't we? If I take bottom and he zones for middle, we could be fine. Sounds fun. Sagara should be zoning for middle, but he didn't. At least I still got bot. There you go. I need Kung Fu Hustle to function here. And I'm gonna have 100% uptime of it because of Nazebo Spiders. Wow, Zerato getting wrecked by Zagara. Nice. Good stuff. Very nice. That's true, the Titan. Maybe I should have taken the good stuff. You really think the two, the two for one is awful? Well, what's the other one? Safety sprints is bad, as is shake it off. Serpent sidekick doesn't do anything. You would just be taking something else because you don't want the good stuff. I mean, uh, the two for one. It gets better at uh, level 16, uh, level 20. Globe cap is 25, yes. Shake it off versus Mura. Yeah, but it's like one guy. He's gonna try and haymaker someone into the fort. I'm just holding down Q at this point, like I'm playing Sylvanas. Normally I don't do that, but it's appropriate here. Yeah, but I'm not going full Serpent build this game, Super Crova. You like... I, I understand that you like Serpent Sidekick, but I have zero Serpent talents. Let's go heal Johanna. Does she have Indestructible? Yes. Good stuff. I 
can't believe Murrow just died to that. <laughs> He's been way too aggressive and now he's getting punished. Sort of a sidekick is good even without any talents. Uh, I think it's okay to have two for one. With Kung Fu Hustle, the cooldown decrease is uh, really nice. You can heal people easy peasy. My mana is so comfortable with Conch Pursuit and Pitch Perfect. We're 5v4, so we should definitely all. 5 bot, please. Should definitely all go bot. If he even just saves Gara. Jeez. Excellent. Too close for comfort. But we should still kill the camp. This is too much. Two chase. The rest defense. Okay. We have the important people wave clearing it. That's good. Sigara already had the idea. Yeah. I think you need level 7 or level 4 serpent to tell. Yeah, I mean, there's no point getting Serpent Sidekick, I think, if you don't take any of the talents. You're just doing 69 damage extra on yourself every time per second. 69 DPS. How could I let her die? My bad. Hey, you okay down there? <laughs> no. No, he's not. Not at all. I'm not afraid of you. Three second blind and he's got that uh, thing, the invigorating spores. A doubtful pick, by the way, against Lily. The attack range might have served him better than the attack speed. Why is there three Nidus there? I think he's doing some kind of wall off <laughs> strategy. <laughs> he's playing StarCraft and he's doing a wall off. Really? Shadow Soul Zera against uh, double blinds. Imagine there's gonna be a day in the future where you have a Zeratul in your game. And he's gonna take Shadow Assault against the Ariel with the blind talent, Johanna. Artanis with the blind alt, Lily. And it's gonna be glorious. So we didn't go to end it, we gotta keep this fine. I literally have my Q pressed down and it's barely costing any mana. It's just like Chromie's, uh, what's it called? The Sands of Time. <laughs> just holding it down. I've never played Lily like this. I have the only talents that justifies it as well. Oh, right when I turned this on, Nova died. You could ask yourself what we were still doing here. You know, 5v5, enemy core, both are level 20. Why are we still here? Why are we still here? Why are we still pushing in? It's just one of the many great mysteries of life. My wounds heal. Can we get some more Nidus at Bot Shrine? Oh my god. I guess I could have stayed and then he'd be dead. <sighs> must take enemy siege, Cam. You must. I could have stayed. 
I knew they're gonna do it. It doesn't matter how wrong it is. It's a baby Zera. So cute. <laughs> Jump to get the stuff. Hey, it still works out. Oh yeah, totally worth it. Guys, all accent. Hey, something good came out of it. Clearly, they knew better than I did. My healing numbers skyrocketed once we reached level 20. A little bit of solo Gazlo push in middle. I like it. <laughs> yes, Nova. This is this Nova is one of the most responsible Novas I've ever seen. He has been solo laning without a complaint in the world for half the early game. Who does that? What kind of Nova would do that? Someone who loves people, a philanthropist, a, a pedometer. Can I shrink ray minion? Top siege damage Nova I've ever seen. Well played, fire frog trap. Well deserved, hero. Single tap. Cool. Well, I'm not surprised that uh, Nova, I mean that Lily is an immediate 1-0. She's still good. That was nice. Uh, yeah, 138,000 heals. I did die twice. No kills because, you know, I'm not Rambo. And I went for Mana, Mana, Longer Blind for Zera and Mura. Who, by the way, did not go Battle Momentum, but I couldn't have smelt that. Shrink Ray for Zera or Lunara, and then two for one, which had some contention from the chat here, but I think it's the right choice. And then finally, Kung Fu Hustle. And I literally could hold down my queue because of Pitch Perfect and Conjurer's Pursuit. The closest thing to infinite mana Lily with an infinite cooldown reduction Lily. And then only level 13 and 4 really are kind of uh, up for grabs. Could have gone for the surging winds and mass blind, but as I said, it would compromise my position a little bit more trying to get greedy blinds on the back line. And uh, yeah, I, I didn't want to risk that. So cool, cool Lily game. <laughs> What happens when I stasis after a gorge? I'm gonna try it. My team has good movement. He will. <laughs> <laughs> Spit it out. <laughs>